Recording in progress. <clears throat> Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our last availability of the day. We have Marquise Brown available for you. We'll get it started here with Pete Gilbert. Hey, Marquise, good to see you. Um, you know, what? it was interesting last week, the the role in which it seemed you played so many short passes as opposed to earlier on with so many more deeper attempts. Um, is that, is that, I know you'll do whatever is called upon, but is it, would you rather try and get deep and have the big plays there? Uh, how, how'd you feel about that? Um, I mean, yeah, I'd rather make some big plays, but if the defense is trying to take that away from us, you know, I'm, I'm happy to help however I can catch underneath short passes, Whatever I got to do, you know, get involved and, you know, help the team, I'm willing to do. Jamison Hensley. Hey, Marquise, uh, you know Lamar better than pretty much anybody on this team. What do you think his chances of playing in uh, Sunday's big game? I haven't got a chance to really talk to him, you know, since the game. So um, I'm hopeful for him, you know, and I know he's doing everything he can to get back and be uh, play for us. Cordell Woodland. Hey, Marquise, you guys are uh, going up against the Bengals this week, big division game. Right now, you, you're on the outside looking in uh, in terms of the playoffs. Is, do you sense a sense of urgency right now in the locker room? Uh, I've been felt the sense of urgency. Uh, we want to win games, uh, and we been I think we're on a three-game loser streak or whatever we on. We're just trying to get back in the win column, and, you know, that's going to start Sunday. Yeah, Marquise, um, speaking of Tyler Huntley, uh, but with you and Lamar and Tyler coming from a place like South Florida, uh, where there's so many great players, how much do you think it helps Tyler's swag, for lack of a better word, that, you know, when he gets in the NFL, regardless of what people say about him, that he feels and you guys feel like coming from where you come from, you guys can hang with anybody? Uh, that definitely plays a part. I mean, Tyler's been one of the best since we were little kids. So, you know, he done played with the guys who's getting the recognition. He done played against the guys, and he always held his own. He always been a top-notch player. So that's never going to change, you know, no matter his role. Garrett Downing. Marquise, this year you've added kind of different levels to your game. You talked about the short stuff a little bit earlier. How much – better of a well how much more of a well-rounded receiver do you think that you have become this year uh I think I I showed you know I could attack all the levels of the field um just trying to make the most of whatever you know we get out there you know that's that's been a goal of mine just to try to do everything I can the right way you know if it's going deep short passes intermediate yak uh just trying to cover all the bases Ryan me. Hey, Marquise, kind of on that topic, you know, are you seeing teams, they were being a lot of blitz before, but are you seeing teams just kind of hanging back on you and not not letting you get over the top? I know you were open a couple times in Cleveland for big plays that you guys were pretty close on connecting on, but what are you seeing from defenses in their attempts to kind of try to limit you from making the big plays you were making earlier this year? Um, yeah, I mean, they're playing back, but like I said, I think a few weeks ago, I feel like I can get behind anybody no matter how far back they play. So however they want to play, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna connect on it, you know, eventually. So we're just going to keep working. Kurt McEwen. Hey, Hollywood. Uh, I know you're a team guy, but on a personal tip, you're sitting at 80 receptions and 909 yards. Any thought given to – a hundred receptions and a thousand yards. You're so close. Um, I mean, I really don't care. I feel like uh, that's been a goal to get a thousand yards. I feel like I'm going to get it. So I'm really just trying to win, trying to make these playoffs and, you know, make this run. Ty Karpovich. Hey, Marquise. On that last play against the Packers on that two-point conversion, you seem to be pretty wide open in the end zone on that play. Was that designed for you to get that play? Did you expect the ball there? Um, no. Nah, I mean, it was a – I felt like it was a good play. Uh, Mark was hot. We uh, designed a play for him. But, you know, they made a good play. Dude came down, and he made a good play on the ball. Like, I popped open late, but I don't think he could see me behind the uh, O-lineman. Chad Hughes. 
Childs Walker. Hey, Marquise, you've, you've obviously seen uh, you've seen a lot of Mark Andrews over over, over the years. Uh, have you ever seen him play better than he has the last two weeks? Uh, Mark is playing great football right now, um, and I really don't think he's playing his best football. And you can ask him, you know, he, he has a lot left to keep showing. You know, he's a great player, and I feel like he's going to keep showing why he's, you know, the best tight end in the league. Take a couple more here from Marquise. Garrett Downing. You guys have overcome a lot this year, a ton of injuries, you know, COVID situation. How do you – did you feel like those experiences will help you here in this in these final three games as, you know, overcoming all that as you try to make a push here to get back into the playoffs? Yeah, definitely. Uh brings us close as a team. You know, we've been hit with adversity after adversity. And, you know, some ways we find ways to be in games. We find ways to win games. And just to know we're never out of things, no matter who we have available, is, you know, is a, a great sign for our team. We'll close it out with David Andrade. Hey, Marquise, how are you? Um, hey, Marquise, we, we all saw this video of Coach Harba on that two-point conversion moment. It did change the point of view of a lot of people, of his interaction with the players, taking this big decision. Uh, talking about this, the culture of this team, uh, what are your thoughts about this moment that he had with the players? Uh, that just shows, you know, what type of coach uh, coach is. Um, he, he lets us be involved in decisions, and he trusts us, and we trust him. So it's like a family atmosphere here. You know, we're going to win with each other. We're going to lose with each other. Hey, Marquise, we appreciate you joining us today. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. To the media court, thank you so much for joining us for today's availability. See you back here tomorrow. Thank you so much.